Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today I have a big package that I ordered on Black Friday. So let's get started. Okay guys, so this is one that I got from the Funko shop, and this was, if you spent $50, you got free shipping, and then it was also 10% off, I believe it was. So I got, the, or 15, 15% off. And so I got this big box here. Um, so it came up to 45, which was nice, and then with taxes, it brought it over 50, but it still let me take the deals and everything, because it was over 50 when I ordered it. Um, let me let me tell you, I ordered a box for myself, and then I ordered a pop for myself, and then I also ordered um, something for my mom. Now, I told her not to watch this video, so whatever's in here, I can show off. I can also maybe show off her other um, Christmas present that I got her as well. She, she went to the store and was picking up presents. She got a present for me or something, and then she also said, hey... This is something cool that I want you to get me. So she bought it for uh, herself for Christmas, but I paid for Anyways, point is, it's for her for Christmas. She doesn't get to, I'm not giving it to her till Christmas. Um, but let's just get right into this, guys, because there's some stuff going on in here um, that I'm super excited about. There is a couple pops and stuff in here that I, I kind of was like, well, yeah, I'll get it eventually. And then finally, I was like, yeah, let's do it. So you guys will see in a second what I'm talking about um, when I show this off. So let's see, the first thing in here, by the way, packaged nicely, I like that. I also like how Funko, Funko is throwing everything into one big box now. They used to sometimes ship stuff separately and that was annoying. Um, let me show you guys here. Okay, so, this is the top of the box here. The one didn't come in a sorter, damn. Oh, gosh, let's hope it's okay. Okay, anyway, so let's start with this here. This is something that I'm not gonna be opening up in today's video, but there will either be a video on it that came out yesterday or one later on today, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, it's this here. Now this is the Fun Club subscription box. Now you can get this on the Funko Shop still. I had the old version of it, where it came with a signed um, car, signed numbered card from Brian Mariotti. It came with a Freddy Funko, and then it came with um, a couple pencils, which I've never used. They're actually still over there. And then um, some stickers. So that's cool, but I wanted to get the new one, and it was, uh, I think, 25 or $20. Um, so I decided to pick it up for this one. This also puts you into the uh, giveaways that they do every week or every time there's a new Funko Shop release or something like that. I forget. There's lots of giveaways that Funko does. And because I bought this, you get thrown into that. So that's a cool little bonus. There's also a pop and some other stuff in here. So we're not going to open this up today, but there w this will be a separate video. That way I can go more detailed into it. Um, and then we don't have to worry about, you know, doing so much stuff today because there's a lot going on with this one. Um, next up, I have a pop that I'm pretty excited about picking up. I've wanted this one for a while. I hope it came in okay. Because uh, Funko normally packages really well. So, I hope this is alright. It, it came in bubble wrap. It should be alright. It was a big box, too. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, good. Um, I ordered Mr. Hanky. Uh, Mr. Hanky went up on the uh, Funko shop a little while ago, and I finally decided to pick it up. I have almost everybody. No, now I have everybody. I've got everybody. Um, the other day, my mom picked up for me Human Kite, Tool Shed, and Randy Marsh. Um, so as you guys can see on the back here, this is all of them. The only one I'm missing is Mr. Garrison now, because he's a special T-Series one, and I'm not 100% sure if he's out yet. But uh, let me take this bad boy out of the box, because I want to show him off. Um, there's something about this one that I think is pretty cool. Um, so let's do this here, guys. So this is, this is him here, Hanky the Christmas Poo, a special gift that comes from you. If you guys don't know the song, and this is from South Park, like I said, I'm glad they gave him the little stand there and they didn't try to make him like a butt end on the bottom. I think it would have looked weird. Um, but Hanky the Christmas Poo is a great figure. I think it looks amazing. There it is right there. Pretty cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. Um, Hanky the Christmas Poo is one of my favorites. I'm glad they finally made this one. I didn't know if they would ever do it, but Funko is the type of uh, company that would make something like this, and I'm so glad they did. Um, there's just so much going on with this one, and uh, I think it's awesome that they did make it. So there is the another thing that I ordered. I think it was ten dollars for this, and it was like the it came with like forty five, and then tax fifty dollars. So for all of this fifty bucks, it's pretty good. Um, there's one more thing that I ordered. It's for my mom, like I said. Okay guys, so this is a vinyl set actually that I picked up for my mom. Um, she really likes vinyls, and this is one of those ones that 
Um, we saw in the Funko shop, and then she finally was, um, she never got it, but she got a bunch of other ones for, hmm, I forget. There was a sale that they were having. I don't remember what it was, but anyways, here's this one here, guys. Huckleberry Hound and Snagglepuss. Um, this is a really good one. I like this one a lot. There's so much going on with it that I was like, yeah, she, I gotta pick this one up for her. Um, so I'm get, I got her this for Christmas, um, and then I also got her something else. I'm not gonna open this one up on camera just because I want to keep it nice and new because it's for, you know, for Christmas and everything like that. Um, I told her not to watch this video, so we're good to go on that. Um, but there it is right there, guys. A really cool vinyl set. I still want to get her the, um, Count Chocula and Frankenberry, but it is sold out, and it's literally, like, eighty dollars and I I can't justify that for a for a vinyl. I mean it's really expensive. I'm trying to reach the other one over here that I picked her up too. Uh, so this is the other thing that she picked up for herself but then wanted Ooh. um so I was like yeah sure why not. I paid for it but she used my card of course. Um uh, so here it is here guys this is the one um so now this is this is pretty good stuff guys I'm not gonna lie. So before we get into that fifty dollars for this box which you guys will see um, then Hanky and this is pretty good. I mean, it was like $50 with tax and everything like that. Tax included, shipped, um, with a 15% off, so you can't really get it any cheaper. And that's usually when they have the good deals. It's like, it was, it was free shipping over $50, so I was like, yeah, we'll just do it. Uh, we'll throw on Hanky, because I was going to get them anyways. So I thought $10 isn't that expensive, and then, you, you know, I get all this other stuff as well. Um, so that's really cool. I needed a Christmas present for it, and my mom wanted that one anyway. And then I was going to get Hanky, so it's perfect. Um, so let's get into this here, guys. This is one that I picked up. Well, she picked up for herself, but it's for Christmas. I don't know. She does this every year where it's like, I found this perfect thing. Let me get it for myself. And I'm like, all right, fine. I don't care. Um, like if I saw this in store, I would have picked it up for her anyways. So it's just easier that way. Um, but the one that uh, she got for herself for Christmas is the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. If you guys don't know, the royal wedding was a little while ago. Um, and I thought this was really cool that we could finally pick this one up. Uh, I'm surprised they had it. By the way, guys, their hands are separate, so the pops can come apart. It's not like they're um, touching, and then that way it stays together. Um, both of them are separate separate here. So I think it looks really good, um, in my opinion. I like the way they did that with the hands. You really do want them next to each other, and you'd probably want to keep this one in box as well. Um, just because it would look a lot nicer like this than it would out of box. Um, there's also another one that you can get from this, which is Queen Elizabeth in her, like in her uh, green screen suit, as you guys can see there, her green screen dress. I call it that because it's like, it's just so green. Um, and I don't know, I just thought it was really funny. But yeah, there it is there, guys. So this is the Duke and Duchess right here. I thought this was such a cool pop thing to pick up. Um, but yeah, it looks great. So anyways, that's this one here. And um, it looks good, yeah. There's something about this one that I just thought was really neat. And it's almost like, um, it's from the Royal Wedding, like I said. It's almost like they made it a nice not a diorama, but like that, where it's like, it, it looks nice, it's a ple it's pe it's appealing in box, which is what Funko likes to do. Um, so, anyways, I think that's it. Before I go, I'm gonna go grab my three pops that I got from South Park, um, that I got the other day. I, I, I was supposed to bring them up, then I forgot them, so I'll be back in a second, guys. One minute. Um, I wanna grab them, because they're some pretty cool pops. Okay, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Don't worry. I don't want to show him off on camera yet, so hold on. Okay. Here we go. So, we got three of them. Uh, you guys probably know what they are. Human, Kite, Tool Shed, and Randy Marsh. But, I wanted to show them off today. I can sneak in here. There we go. Um, I wanted to show them off right now because I thought with Hanky, um, we could just do that. I wasn't going to show them off in a video anyways. <sighs> I ran far for those. Um... But anyways, here we go, here guys. So we've got the three of them. Like I said, I'll pull up Hanky since we got them. Okay guys, so we have the three of them here. Like I said, Hanky is here. Now we also got Human Kite, which is a really cool one. The kite is huge on his back too, by the way. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's huge. Let me take this one out of the box because this is, there's something about the South Park ones that I really like. They never get too expensive. I think the most expensive one is maybe $20 and it's like the Chase, Terrence, and Phillip ones. Um, but they are really cool though. Here's Human Kite with the giant kite on his back. This one was also in the Stick of Truth, um, which I think is really awesome. And I, I just had to pick this one up. Plus, I'm getting all of the South Park ones. The only ones that I'm missing now, like I said, are Mr. Garrison. And then I guess you could count the original Terrence and Phillip. Um, I'm missing the Stan and Stan and Kyle two-pack, I guess, too. because But that's the same figures just put together. It's a Best Buy exclusive. Um, I don't think that one's exactly needed. Um, then we also have Tool Shed here which is another really cool figure. Um, the glasses, when you first get them, guys, if they have a little thing on them, and actually this one this one came back, I'll show you what I mean. 
Um, on the front of the glasses, if you guys can see it, there's a little tiny dots on them. Do you guys see that there? Now, if you can, you just push it, and it should pop them right off. Let me see if I can get that, because I did it the other day. Yeah, watch. So now, guys, they're gone. It's like the, the plastic just touches the uh, paint on it, and now it's gone. Um, I don't know why it does that, but it does. So anyways, really cool figure also guys on the back you can see he's got a table saw on his back I think that's really funny as well um, these do look just like they do in the show and I think that's really funny now I don't know if these were I can't think of an episode that these were in but I know for a fact that they were in the, the video game and I don't know if Funko's taking it directly from there or taking it from a South Park episode as well um, but anyways all in all they're really cool pops and then the last one here is of course he's from the show it's Randy Marsh um, there he is there. Really cool figure as well. Um, I like this one a lot. It's very detailed. And even though they're so simple, there's lots going on with them. You know, they put the little pencils in his pocket. They give him, you know, the mustache, the mouth, the little chin, the butt chin. Um, you guys can see his hair, like almost like his bit of a bowl cut, kind of. And then his feet look good. I don't know. They're just really cool figures, and I like them a lot. So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Do all that. Don't let my mom know that this pop, that those vinyls are in this video. Do not somehow, I don't know how you would get to her, but just don't. Uh, don't. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyways, I, I mean, now that I've said that, I feel like you guys are going to do it, so... Anyways, this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching.